What's going on guys? Check back with another awesome Blu-ray purchase. And today I'm taking a look, if you saw my previous uh, video, of something that I was kind of late to getting to. And this is even more so. This is something that's, I'm a couple years late getting to. Honestly, not a new release by any stretch of the imagination. But, um, nevertheless, here it is. I got Second Sight's Dawn of the Dead 4K set. Um, now if you've seen this, obviously this is not the big box, um, ultimate limited edition that they released some, a few years back, which was, you know, very, very popular. Um, and why I didn't pick that one, that one up initially was at the time it came out, I did not have a 4k player. Um, and that, that was strictly, this is strictly a 4k set. There is no Blu-ray on here, um, except for maybe I think the, the disc of bonus features and even that region be locked. Uh, at the time, I did not have a region-free Blu-ray player or a 4K player, so I kind of didn't partake in picking that up. Um, and in hindsight, I'm not too upset with that, mainly because I didn't need all the bells and whistles that came with it. I mean, I, I mean there was a lot of stuff similar to the uh, chainsaw box set, but I think even more so with a book and all our kind of stuff and what I've seen from other people's uh, videos and interviews on it. Um, but I thought at the time that that was, I would have liked to get it, but I couldn't, you know, plain and simple. And I also thought that, of course, that doesn't sound really silly, but I was very happy with the set that I had. Um, not that I would have upgraded. Honestly, if that set it came out and it was like, you know, region A and whatever, it wasn't in a 4K set or something, I probably would have picked it up. Uh, but up until that point, let me see if I can find it real quick. My last, the only version I had of this film was this Anchor Bay Ultimate Edition DVD set of Dawn of the Dead, which I really, really love. Um, it's a four set, four disc set. From way back when, it has all the, uh, three cuts of the film plus a disc of bonus features. Again, this is strictly a DVD, but I did like this set a lot. I'm, you know, it had the dead row cut, the what they call the director's cut. I think on the, the this set it's called the uh, cans cut, and of course the European cut on this set, the Argento cut. Um, and it has you know uh, documentaries, a dead will walk on this, um, a mall tour with Ken Foray, and a couple other things. But this was a I don't know if you've ever, you know, seen this. A lot of you probably had this old DVD set. And this is a, this is a beauty. This is a, Anchor Bay. This was a beautiful, beautiful set. It came with a comic book of the film. And then, you know, this nice. And we can flip this around. So, yeah, this was awesome. And I was, I figured at the time, it's not going to get much better than this. This is, the ultimate Dawn of the Dead. And before that, I had a two-disc Anchor Bay VHS set, which was the uh, theatrical and uh, I think it was the, the, the European cut. Um, so that, you know, it, it is always coming out in some kind of major release, and I kind of picked it up, but that was the last one. I figured, that's it. I'm done. That can't get any better than that. And I don't think it was ever released on, I don't know if it was ever released on Blu-ray. It might have been. I know there's a lot of rights issues with it, it seems like, because you don't get this film um, put out as much or distributed as much as you do, like, Day of the Dead. And obviously, Night of the Living Dead is in public domain, so that's... Someone puts a new version of that out every couple of years. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that's why it was such a big deal when Second Sight Films got this, but of course... It was overseas. It wasn't, you know, if you're here in the States. So obviously, I don't know the legality, but apparently there's some kind of, I've read or heard that there's some kind of copyright rights issues or whatever the case may be that's keeping basically an American distribution company from producing Dawn of the Dead or some of the real own lines. I could be mistaken, but that's how I understood it. So, Second Sight, and it released uh, pretty much just region B overseas. But again, it's 4K, so it is. It makes it region free. Um, 
in this set is nice. Very, very nice. For not having all the bells and whistles, like I said, that the all the, the things that the big ultimate box collector set had, I'm I'm very happy with this in a lot of ways. It it in some ways it reminds me a lot of this set. And let's take a look at this real quick. So there's the great cover. It's your spine. There's a nice reach in the side there. And here you go. When there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. Great. <laughs> Let me open this up. And you've got this great, great image here. Inside, flip it around, and there are your discs. You know, all three films, or excuse me, all three films, all three versions of these films, the theatrical, the Cans cut slash director's cut and the European slash Argento cut are all remastered in 4K. So that's really cool. It's not just a theatrical cut, but all three versions are remastered in 4K. And then you have the Blu-ray, which again is region B locked with all your special features. And from what I understand, there is a ton more special features on here than even the Ultimate uh, Edition, I believe. I, I haven't really done a side-by-side -side comparison, but I've seen a lot of stuff that's new on here. So that's really cool. And it's probably some updated stuff too. And a lot of commentaries for each version. I mean, so much stuff. Um, this is a great presentation. Uh, if I have one slight complaint, and it's not a, it's a minor one, and it's not really major. It's, you know, if you take care of things, it's fine. These, I don't know what these trays, I guess they are. Um, and I just have, this is the case with a lot of sets like this. They're not completely glued down, I guess. The edges are kind of, you know, a little loose. Not bad, but, you know, if you're not careful, they could, you know, don't treat it well, they could kind of pop off or whatever he's not careful but i'm not too worried about that but that's just a little thing i didn't notice these are kind of a little loose but not too bad so fold it up there's a set and it's again much like i said the previous video the texas chainsaw massacre nice sturdy box it's not flimsy cardboard it will tear apart this is very nice which again example this is even though this is very flimsy cardboard on this old DVD set. I mean, it's nice. It's held up well because I try to take good care of my stuff as much as possible. But, you know, this, after a while, this would take a lot of uh, a wear and tear on that could be very, very bad. This, a lot more sturdy. I mean, it's, you get more squeeze on here than you really do in this. And this is a lot more solid. This is very, very light and flimsy, very hard. I always appreciate this much better. Okay. So, here's the L card with all your special features on that. Which, too many to probably go through. Uh, you got new zombies and bikers with uh, John Amplis. Or is it Roy Funkus, Tom Savini, Christina uh, Forrest. Lots and lots of people. There's a whole bunch of names. I want to read them all. Um, a new Memories of Monroeville, and it's a, a new updated tour of the mall. Looks like uh, whole new documentaries. I mean, just so much stuff on here. It's you know, I think a lot of the archival stuff that's on this set is on here too. So I'm really glad. And this, because obviously, it being I, I wasn't going to have the same luck that I had with. The second site, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, where I was able to pick up that still uh, sold out set from an American distributor. This has been a couple years on the line. Those things, these things are gone as far as this goes, and that's okay. I actually found this on Amazon um, for like I think forty seven dollars. That's a steal <laughs> for this, um, and it was actually on sale. So it's marked down a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, and again, it came from Amazon, it shipped very quickly, uh, and I was kind of surprised that it was available. And again, you know, just, if you weren't in the market, or if you weren't able to get the big box, the big ultimate, you know, limited edition set of this, and you really wanted to, you, I think this is a great way to go. Um, it's very affordable, 
you get all the, the 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 cuts of the film, the 4K sets. The only thing you're not getting is all the uh, bells and whistles, the special things that were included. Like I said, like the I think it was a, the the hardbound book, I believe it was uh, some photo cards, a lot like the stuff in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 4K set, and some few other things. I can't remember off the top of my head. But you're getting, you know, if you're just looking for the movies themselves and the special features, then this is a great way to get it. And it's affordable. what's available. Like I said, I got mine on Amazon just a couple days ago. It shipped right away. I say go for it. I am very, very happy that I managed to pick this copy up after a couple years and missing out on that big set. Um, now, what I do with this. Hold on to it, of course, because I'm a hoarder. <laughs> but I can't see myself getting rid of this. It's too nice a set. Um, I mean, I probably could. I have a hard time with releasing really good sets, even though I re I had to replace it something with really, something with really uh, awesome version of it. And not that this isn't, but I really like this a lot. And I have a hard time releasing these things into the wild or getting rid of them because I always. It sounds silly. I want them to have a good home, you know. Um, I, w I always want to make sure they're with somebody. If, if I have to give away a nice set for some reason, you know, I've replaced it and, you know, I've upgraded it immensely, and I want to make sure it's going to go with someone who's going to appreciate it. I'd hate throwing it out to some, you know, uh, secondhand DVD shop and, Watch it get sold for five bucks, and you know, no one, and who knows, someone maybe get it, maybe appreciate it. I know because I know there's collectors who go out there, and I, I've done it myself, and these play uh, these half price books, you know, disc replays, whatever, and find these things, and they're treasures out in the wild, which is awesome when you find them. But sometimes it's just like ah, I just want to make sure someone has it who can appreciate it, and we'll give it a good home. And I've always loved this set, sign I'm I'm gonna hold on to it because. That's, I have a hard time getting rid of things. <laughs> My wife will tell you that a lot. <laughs> She'll back me up on that. Um, but it's just a beautiful, beautiful set. And again, it's a DVD set. It's Anchor Bay. It's a great set. I, um, but I'm not upset about getting this at all. I'm glad I got this. And this will be my go-to for sure. And just hold on this for nostalgia's sake. Because it's such a beautiful set. But yeah, this will be when I decide to pull out and watch uh, Dawn of the Dead. This is where it's coming from this 4k set so <sighs> we need more shells for all these duplicates <laughs> so if you enjoy this click thumbs up share subscribe leave me a comment below um let me know your history with dawn of the Dead. did you pick up this did you have that anchor bay 2 vhs set i wish i still had that i don't think i i, I got rid of that once i got this but you know for nostalgia purposes it, it'd be cool to have that and you just see if i can find it maybe i'll if I can find a picture of it online, I post it here because it was it was kind of cool. Um, but do you have this? You know, were you able to pick up um, the uh, limited edition set of this? What are your thoughts on it? You know, or if not, did you get this set? Or the case may be, um, do you even like Dawn of the Dead? <laughs> Which you know, who wouldn't? Um, myself, it is my favorite uh, Romero. Film, which I haven't seen all of them. Oh, I like Creep Show a lot. Um, but of the zombie films, you know, Dawn is definitely my 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 favorite. And of course, you know, you're gonna say, well, of course you're gonna say it because everyone says that. True. Um, but you know, you, who might argue? It's a good, it's a damn good movie. And the way you cut it, and they cut it three different ways. <laughs> not a not a huge fan of the remake, though. I will tell you that. I'm not. It's not bad. It's. It's okay, but I'm, I've never really been a big fan of uh, that movie. Um, I don't know why. It just it doesn't. Maybe I'm just too old fashioned. I don't care for running zombies. I like my zombies lumbering, lurching, and just being more. To me, that's more terrifying. Not that, you know, I guess a scary zombie coming at you would be pretty, you know, terrifying. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> and also, I. Will tell you, I am a fan of Land of the Dead. No one talks about that one, but I enjoy it. Off topic. Okay. Or I say hi. I'll always take hi. <laughs> so until next time, this is Chuck saying I'll see you on the other side. <laughs>